What is going on everybody, my name is KillerMaxD and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can get the VAD crossbow and how you can upgrade it on Rave in the Redwoods. Now the first thing you want to make sure that you've done is turned on the power. If you guys don't know how to turn on the power, the link will be in the description. And then from there you want to ride the boat to Turf Island. You're going to see a bucket on the floor there and you want to pick yourself up a wiener. Now once you've got yourself a wiener then guys, you just want to head back over to the main part of the map by jumping onto the zip line and once you get back over there then guys all you need to do is pick yourself up a pouch from a zombie drop now once you got that pouch then guys you want to head over to the bear lodge and you want to throw the pouch into the fire you're going to go into rave mode and what you're going to do is going to look for three of these deers wall mounts and you want to throw your hot dog at it and then you want to shoot the actual deer and then you just want to pick up the part. Now from there you want to go over to the mess hall. And you're going to see another deer mount on the wall. And you want to throw your wiener at that. It's going to come off the wall. You want to shoot it. And then you want to pick that up. And then from there then guys you want to head over to the cabins. Now while you're going over there in rave mode. If you want to stay in rave mode longer. Just make sure that you hear the sound or listen to the sound of the fairies that will allow you to stay in rave mode for longer and you're going to need to be in rave mode to in order to do these steps so once you get over to the cabins then guys you're going to be over at the cabin owl and you want to see inside that zombie spawn there's going to be the third location and you want to throw the winner at that and then you're going to shoot it and then pick that up now from there then guys you want to head back to the bear lodge and you want to make sure that you're still inside the rave mode so you want to make sure you're still in rave mode you want to follow this path down keep listening to the fairies as you go guys because that will allow you to stay in rave mode for this long or this amount of time now once you get all the way back down to the bear lodge then guys all you're going to need to do is come to the cabin there's going to be a lock on it and all you want to do is unlock that cabin once you've unlocked the cabin, you're not going to be able to pick up the bows or the crossbows until your rave mode has gone out. And then you can pick up your VAD crossbow. The good thing about the crossbow is it shoots the zombies and it leaves explosive damage. But the only bad thing about explosive damage is if you're in line of the crossfire, you will get hit by that explosive damage and it will can actually put you down. So, there you go. Now moving on guys, to the upgraded vad crossbow now you're going to be looking for a few animal statues uh there is a lot of different spawning areas for these statues usually is between eight maybe up to 12 different areas now the first one is in this camper truck at the recreational area on the table now another is opposite the racing tribes perk on the balcony the third is next to a camp wolf sign on this picnic bench here the fourth is at the bear lake on this bench right here a fifth is at the adventure course on the floor up the stairs so you just need to come down here and open up this gate and then come up these stairs and you should notice it right on the floor moving on to a six it's at the mess hall sign and if you come next to this garden bench it'll be on the floor a seventh is in the mines so if you head over to the mines just where the uh, power switch is it's just up here just should see some steps you want to go down here and it's right in the corner on the floor and an eighth is at the adventure course at the bottom of the climbing wall so just a little bit tricky getting back up here from down here but yeah that is the eighth i don't know where the rest are i will have links uh, in the description about where every single one is now once you have all four animal statues because you only need four of them you want to head over to the dj speakers at the recreational area and you just want to place them down on each one of these speakers so you can see there's one area here there's one there and uh, there's one to the left here and then there's another one next to it now once you've placed all of them down you just want to get some zombies and you just want to kill loads of zombies 
right near the speakers. You want to kill so many zombies until you can pick them back up. If you notice there, when you shoot a zombie, you know you've done it correctly, guys, because you'll see some of the red mist blood coming from the zombies. You can also kill the Sasquatch. And they will also leave explosive red mist term. You can use any kind of explosives to kill these zombies near the speakers. It doesn't matter what you do. Headshots, body shots. It will all fill up the souls of these statues. And then once you've basically done all the statues. You should just be able to then just pick them up guys. And then once you've done that. You can then go over to the large animal statues. Just to let you know a particular animal will give you a particular bow type. And I have the list on screen right now. You don't have to do all of them. Just the one you like the sound of. And no particular order. Now the first one is the owl. Which is at the bear like cabins there. The second one is the wolf. At the cabin wolf sign to the left. The third one is the deer. Which is near the boathouse to the left here. And the final one is the eagle. And that's at the Thunderbird Amplifier Theatre. Which is at the back right next to the magic wheel. Now once you have picked the one you like. You just need to go to that statue and place down your animal statue. You then want to kill a load of zombies near it with your VAD crossbow until you can pick it back up. Just to inform you that whatever statue you go for, just keep in mind that certain areas are going to be harder to train than others. Now the owl is probably a reasonably okay place to train because you can go over to the rave and then bring the zombies back. Now once you can pick that part up, you will automatically be given the upgrade to the actual crossbow to the VAD. And the upgrade depends on which statue you do. So as you can see here, I've picked up the owl part and this will give me the acid rain. It looks really, really cool because when it shoots, it shoots a lot of acid rain from the sky and it doesn't cause any explosive damage. Now the wolf is the uh, Ben Franklin. The eagle is the trap o -matic, and the deer is the Wivel Wind EF5. The good thing is, guys, is that you can swap bows with your mates or your teammates. To upgrade another bow, you just want to place your upgraded bow back into the cabinet at the bear lodge and swap it for a VAD bow and then just repeat the process or steps within this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'm going to show you a little bit of a clip of the deer one at the end of this video and like always it's been shadow mate today and i'm out bye bye i'm someone new baby but you know i never will no so i choke you down just like a pill